the top three mistakes when going after passive income. For many aspiring entrepreneurs and investors, passive income is the goal only to be topped by having multiple streams of passive income. It is the very definition of having financial freedom. When your passive income is greater than your monthly expenses, you no longer have to worry or work for money. But as appealing as all this is, passive income is elusive. Out of the many who attempt to go for passive income, only few ever get to successfully build it. And some are even unfortunate that they end up in debt after a failed attempt. Why? Well, here are what I believe to be the three biggest reasons and mistakes that people make when going after passive income. Number one, the motivation is wrong. Passive income is attractive because it means you don't have to work for money anymore. That being said, many lazy and unmotivated people want passive income. So they end up chasing the easiest ways to get passive income, not realizing that passive income takes a lot of hard work and massive action to set up at the start. And so a few people would get scammed chasing after the get rich quick schemes. Others would jump from one opportunity to the next, whether it be an online business, affiliate marketing, e-commerce, networking, trading, Bitcoin, and basically anything that's trending that's promising passive income. And these opportunities that they are hopping from one to the next can be legal and actually lead to passive income. But because the motivation is based on laziness and not having to work, these people give up on the first or second or third sign of struggle and challenge. So if one's motivation is in the wrong place, that must be addressed first. That person must search for a deep reason to act beyond average because often beyond average is what is needed to create passive income. Number two mistake, the financial foundation is bad. Income is always a function of value. The more value you provide to others, the more income you can get. This is true for products and services. So if we are looking at building passive income, then one must be building a way to provide value passively. This means you are leveraging technology like in an internet business or assets such as in real estate or other people's time and skills like in traditional businesses. Now, all of these aspects require cash flow and capital to start. Even if it's an internet startup, you'll need money for the hosting and for the website and for your laptop. Now, once we talk about properties or the cost to hire employees, the numbers just get higher and higher. By this, it is a prerequisite that for anyone who wants to build passive income, their own financial position must be in order. They must have positive cash flow and or have available capital. And for people who do not have these two requirements, achieving passive income will be difficult. With this, my recommendation is to stop chasing after passive income. Instead, focus on growing active income first and get that cash flow under control. This can be done by acquiring better jobs or pursuing side gigs first. Forget about passive, go active. And number three mistake, the skills are lacking. In mistake number two, I mentioned that in order to generate passive income, one must have the ability to provide value to others passively. This means that for anyone who wants passive income, they must be able to translate their skill or service to something that can generate long-term value for others. This means, for example, that a freelance writer who gets paid per article must step out of the mindset of being paid per article from asking questions like, hey, what are the requirements of my employer for this article? And where do I find the research for this particular job? The writer must now ask himself, what are people interested in reading about? What are their challenges? How can I solve those? Does it mean writing a book instead of an article? Does it mean creating an online course? All of these bigger questions will require this writer to grow beyond their current skill set. And without the proper motivation, which is mistake number one, this person would just say, I don't know how to do any of those and therefore give up. Passive income requires, again, requires growth. Growth in skill, growth in courage, growth in discipline. Anyone who seeks passive income must be willing to step beyond their current skills, their current comfort zone, and look beyond their present abilities. There must be growth. And so, 
Let's sum it all up. If you want passive income, you must, number one, have the motivation to take massive action towards your goals. Number two, have the financial education and discipline to live below your means so that you have excess cash flow and capital for your endeavor. And number three, be willing to grow and step outside your comfort zone to acquire the skills which will allow you to provide value to others passively. Hey there, J3 here. And have you ever wondered why some people are able to build multiple streams of passive income so easily? Meanwhile, others and maybe you yourself is having trouble building your first passive income source and you're struggling to get results. Well, I have a free training that you might be interested in. It's called the four building blocks of passive income. And when you learn these building blocks, passive income becomes easy, fast, and inevitable. Just head on over to PinoyMoneyAcademy.com slash BBPI. That's BBPI for building blocks passive income. So if you're looking to build passive income, I can help you. Just go to PinoyMoneyAcademy.com slash BBPI. See you there.